What's going on you guys? I'm Mitchell with Mitchell's Lawn Care. Hope you're having a wonderful day, evening, whatever time it may be that you're watching this video. And uh, appreciate you tuning in. But today is all about the Ryan Lawn Air ZTS stand on aerator behind me. I've been asked by several of you fellas out there to do a review on my aerator. I've had this thing for several years, so let's do a walk and talk. y'all so again ryan lawn air zts stand on aerator uh, i featured it on my instagram profile many times but i've never really done a straight up review on it and a walk and talk and things i like things i don't like um, again i did purchase this none of this was given to me this is not a sponsored video since i purchased it i added the spiker spreaders electric 120 pound uh, broadcast spreader to the front of it okay they actually partnered together to make this happen on uh, the zts so uh, spiker and ryan turf partnered together to make this happen but anyways i purchased the electric broadcast spreader later on but uh, i printed out the specification sheet from their website so i don't miss any points so i'm just going to run over these real quick uh, while i show you the plugger and then show you some other things that of course that are not on this sheet and uh, some pros and cons why i bought it um, and some things i may not like about it okay so like i said i'm just going to walk around this thing and read a couple of these specifications so here we have the kawasaki fs 541v a very popular power plant uh, this is a 30.8 cubic inch motor uh, that equals 603 cc's uh, this thing has a fuel capacity of 5 gallons 18.9 liters it has the two hydro gear zt3200 transmission okay it's a very smooth transition transmission a hydraulic oil capacity of seven quarts ground speed zero to seven point four miles per hour and i do want to add that while aerating with the tines down you can go full bore with this thing and it will do it and that's where these things shine is when you can just get out there open it up and cover some acres the drive tires and wheels uh, we have 18 and a half inch I'm sorry 18 inch by six and a half inch rear tires okay the front casters are 13 inch by five the aeration width on this thing is 30 inches and you're probably thinking well that is less than the lawn air five walk behind at 36 and you would be right however this thing goes a heck of a lot faster you cover way more ground with it therefore making up the difference and not getting your butt kicked now if you're looking at this and you're like this looks a little bit different than the ones i've seen today this is the first gen unit they've changed the pad since then um, i think they got some bad feedback because you can see how it shows the dirt on it they have now changed to a really nice like embroidered pad on it so you don't see that staining alrighty there are 48 tines now this thing has a down pressure of 700 pounds so right here is the hydro force where you can control that and here is your gauge okay so it will go up to 700 pounds of down pressure and you can do a core depth of two to five inches which is controlled on the left and right side right here there's a little diagram and you can control your tine depth zero i'm sorry two to five inches holes per square foot up to 5.1 so it's got great holes per square footage the width of the overall machine is 47 0.25 so anywhere you can fit a 48 inch mower the zts will go the length 
with the platform up. So let me show you that. The operator platform does fold up, okay? And you could walk behind this thing if need be, but right there, the platform is folded up. I lost my place on the sheet, there we go. 60.5 inches with it up, and then the platform down, 69.5. It's got a really easy little lever, just push that, and it falls down. And right here on the back side, there's an access panel, so you take off those two little um, little bolt heads, little screw heads right here. You can pull that panel off and access the tines and do maintenance when necessary. The height of the machine is 48 inches. Curb weight comes in at 1,235 pounds. Now get this. This is where these things shine. Productivity, up to 97,800 square feet per hour do the math okay and you will get your acreage per hour okay now since mine was purchased since they came out with it there are a couple other options and put the sheet down um they have since developed a light bar i'll try and throw up a picture of one um but there is a light bar that you can mount here on the front that has two LED lights on the front of it. Again, another option is this Spiker Spreader's electric broadcast spreader. Um, not gonna cover this too much, but anyways, it's a 120 pound hopper. Okay, it bolts or it goes into the two inch receiver that is already on the machine from factory. You just run your wires up. You mount this bracket that comes with the kit. This is how you control the, uh, the gate. It's got your speed on off button. So anyways, and then you mount to the battery. So on the side here, on both sides, you've got access panels if you need to service the chains. So you can take this panel off and this panel off right here. And that's where the uh, chain assembly is. Okay, for the tines and drive tires. Now, that's either a pro or a con, however you want to look at it. Some guys want this machine because it's chain driven and it has auto tensioners on it. Some guys steer away from this machine because they don't want to deal with the change chains. Um, let me see if I can get this off one handed and show you. Now, I've only had one issue with this aerator in the time frame that I've owned it and it was operator error it was nothing wrong with the machine but i hit a large rock in the ground that i could have avoided but um it was getting dark like i said i don't know if i can do this one but there we go um it was getting dark and these little teeth right in here it sheared those off okay this is your auto tensioner now I might be able to find a picture to put in here where I was making this repair, but I did have to repair this two years ago. So this one is newer than the right side, but I had to replace this because these little teeth right in there sheared off. So again, as the uh, chain gets any slack in it, this thing pops back, grabs the next section, and it keeps tension on the chain. So you don't have to tension these chains. It does it for you. And right up here, go ahead and take this off if I can. and you can get to it right there too. So that's how you access the chains. And if you need to take the rear tire off, you can do that too. But anyways, pretty simple. And every time that I got done using this thing, I cleaned it off and I would treat the chains with a motorcycle chain lubricant to keep them running good. So again, other than that pretty much what I would call operator induced problem. I've never had any issues with this. Um, this Kawasaki power plant, you know, they've been around for a long time, no problems. Um, I guess Spiker Spreader has nothing to do with this review, but anyways, um, no problems with it, but that's the only issue. Now, 
one thing I do want to say is you've got to know what you're doing. Now, this operator platform has changed since this first gen came out. The new uh, decal up here tells you all different kinds of stuff and it's a little bit more, I would say, in depth as to, um, you know, your, your time pressures and things like that. I will say that you've got to be careful with these stand-on aerators because of the weight, all right? That is not a very wide tire and at over 1200 pounds with the operator on it you're looking at what 150 300 plus more based on how much you weigh do the math 1500 pounds on a not so wide tire I've gotten this thing stuck more times than I would care to admit now most stand-on aerators have these narrow tires and it's because they keep the track width in okay if you put big wide tires you're not gonna be able to fit through gates and it defeats the purpose that's just something you have to keep in mind when you buy one of these things they are heavy okay so walk behind uh, pluggers as much as we hate them and they kick your butt they're still good to have around because they can get into places that these things can't now something else you have to be careful with if you've got your time pressure jacked up through the roof and you get into soft turf that may be sod or something like that I promise you because it's happened to me these tines will pull up all of that turf and it'll get all wrapped up in here this juicy goodness and trust me it will stop you dead in your tracks and it is a pain in the you know what to get out so learn from what I'm telling you right now soft turf be careful and if it's if it's too soft do not put one of these regardless what the brand do not put one of these on um, really soft lawns and two keep your time pressure down if you're over sodded yards okay you don't want to risk pulling that sod up so I try to operate anywhere and there's a thing here like I said the newer operator platform is a little bit more detailed but you can see from right here at 200 to like 500 is the aerating time pressure the only time you need to be pretty much above 400 is if the ground is just hard as you know what otherwise you can be down here to 200 you know two to 300 range which is where i stay i don't go over 300 pounds down pressure okay um and that's going to take me into you see where it says jack okay like i said before this thing will go up to 700 pounds if you're doing that for aerating, you're, you probably shouldn't even be aerating. But anyways, you can jack this thing up with the tines. Now, be careful doing it, but right here, you can see this little, this little green bar right here, okay? You pull this pin out. I'm not going to do it. Pull this pin out. This drops down, okay? There's one on each side. Those are jack stands. So, turn the uh, ZTS on. Crank your pressure up to 700 activate the tines right here with the thumb mounted switch okay that's going to drive the tines down and pick the unit up and then you lock the jack stands in okay so if you need to service the tines um whatever and service the rear tires this unit will jack itself up off the ground okay something i just touched on the tine activator switch okay this one has it right here thumb actuated I know other brands have it down here in the platform with your foot, okay? I demoed one of those before. I didn't like it. I like being able to just keep my feet wherever I need them to be. I don't wanna to have to have my foot in one specific spot. So as I'm on this unit, your hands are always here on the controls. It is so easy just to hit that switch, okay? Tines up, tines down, tines up, tines down instead of dancing down here now that's my opinion and we all have opinions like you know what i like this guys that i've let borrow this machine like the thumb switch now the flip side of that is a con to it is your hands are always here you may activate the tines on or off when you don't mean to and if you're going down a sidewalk or a driveway and you activate the tines <laughs> it's not going to be good so I have accidentally hit that switch before by accident. Um, parking brake, throttle, choke. Um, I don't know if they're doing these in an EFI, uh, but anyways, so there's the choke. 
Um, it's got the operator presence in the controls. Not a huge fan of that, but I've gotten used to it with, with this machine. Um, again, this is your time pressure control. So once you turn the unit on, you'll see the gauge come to life and you just turn this left or right, either increasing or decreasing to adjust your tine pressure. Um, and I'm not gonna go into the, all the engine stuff. I mean, it's pretty much a basic Kawasaki, really easy to service, stuff like that. So, overall, overall, I've really enjoyed this unit and looking forward to having it for many more years to come adding the broadcast spreader to the front of it was a game changer i was trying to think of ways to decrease you know labor times or whatever increase productivity and the longer i could stay on this without having to get out and walk and push the spreader the better and this right here was the ticket so but anyways again this is the ryan lawn air zts this is my little walk and talk of it and what i think is good and what i think is bad there's really not much I think is bad on it um, other than you know I wish there was wider tires but I know why they can't put them on there um, you know that would help distribute the the weight of the machine over the turf areas so there's sometimes when I haven't even been able to use this thing because the ground's so soft but again you know that kind of negates the fact but I wish they could put wider tires on it but I know why they don't um, plenty enough power plenty enough fuel capacity um, one of the things I didn't like from day one was the color of this pad, but they have since uh, corrected that. Um, I'm just going to deal with it. I'm not buying the new pad just to have the different one. Um, but overall, it's been a great aerator, and I would highly recommend it if you're in the market for one. And that's going to be it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you've got any questions about this unit that I didn't cover, let me know in the comment section down below. And if there's any other videos you guys would like to see, please let me know. Browse the channel. Have a great day.